All right, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. I know I've been absent. It's been a while, but um, I've been busy. But I'm going to make time to drop content for you guys. So in this video, we're going to have an emergency meeting. I have three topics I want to cover. I won't go into too much detail because I understand I'm trying to keep my videos respectful of your time. So the first topic is Mexican as a nationality. Uh, second topic, we're going to talk about Mexicans who claim they can just be Mexican just because they say they're Mexican. And number three, I'm not Mexican. My parents are Mexican, but I'm not. I wasn't born there. I was born in the United States. So we're going to cover these three things. So through my trajectory of being, you know, doing schoolwork, you know, and doing, you know, working a lot, you know, I, I got the app TikTok and I see a lot of content regarding Mexican as a nationality. And I see how... Our own people, our own Rasa. And I know Rasa from a lot of you. Oh, Rasa's a bad word. Don't use that. Rasa just means people, man. It's in the Bible. I'm going to use it. I don't see nothing wrong with it. And same thing with mestizos. We are mestizos. A lot of us are mestizos. But I understand why it was used in that derogatory way back then. Now, we're going to embrace their indigenous. And we're going to respect good Spaniards like Gonzalo Guerrero. But I'll get into that in a little bit. So Mexican as a nationality. Mexico comes from the word Mexica, which Mexica is a tribe. That's a bloodline. So that is, in a sense, is not a nationality. Now, I can understand why it would be a nationality to all the other tribes. Because they're not Mexica. I can understand that. Okay? I can definitely understand that. So, with that being said, Mexico, it's a very, you can have a good arguments because Mexico initially was created for the mestizos. It goes back to the story of Gonzalo Guerrero when he married the Mayan woman, had his kids, the first mestizos initially. They were just mestizos. Mexi Mex Mexican became the, the word for the mestizos, not for the indigenous people. But as time went on, indigenous people were not allowed. To, to identify as their tribe, so they had to identify as, as Mexicano. So I get it in that sense that Mexico can become a nationality for the, all those other tribes. But initially, Mexico does have a tribe, and that's the Aztecs or the Mexica. Mexico became the umbrella for the mestizos, and with it, it dragged all the indigenous people with it. So I can understand why some people would view it as a nationality, and some people would view it as a bloodline. I... From an educated point of view, I can understand both sides. Okay, now if we go to the concept of American, America is a continent. It's not a bloodline. It's a continent. People way down south, further south than Mexico are Americans. And people in Mexico are Mexican-Americans. People in the United States of America are Americans. But American is not a bloodline. It's a continent. Okay, Mexico does have a bloodline. It's the Aztecs. The fact that not everybody fit, fits that that bloodline is understandable as to claim that that's just their nationality, but they're really from this tribe, which I can respect. So, okay, so you have two um, ideas, and and the so you have the indigenous point of view, you have the Mexica point of view, then you have us, the mestizo point of view, which is the umbrella to signify that you are a mestizo of of a mestizo bloodline. Your job is to find out what tribe. And the history of that Spaniard, that, that's your job. Find out both sides of the coin and then come to your own conclusion. Some people might not even be Mexican. You might be Spaniard. You might be from somewhere else. Not all people who live in Mexico are Mexican. We have to understand that. In order to be Mexicano, you need indigenous lineage. Not everybody has that. If you don't have indigenous lineage, you're not a Mexicano. Please understand that. Okay? Second... People believing you can just call yourself Mexican just and, and, and be taken as a Mexican. It doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. You need indigenous blood to be a mestizo, to be a Mexicano. Because remember, the word Mexican was created for the mestizos. It just happened that it dragged everybody else with it. Even the criollos, the Mexicans, the, the Spaniards born in Mexico. Those are not Mexican. They're Spaniards just born in Mexico. The indigenous people, I can understand why they don't want to become Mexican because that's not their tribe. I can understand that. But for people to just say, oh, I'm Mexican. Oh, I, I was born in Mexico. And you're, you're not Mexican. You're not. You just have nationality in that country. I'll give you an example. If I was born in China, 
Does that make me Chinese? No, it just gives me the Chinese nationality, but I'm Mexican. That's my bloodline. You got to go by the bloodline. The bloodline is everything. Follow the bloodline, okay? And lastly, my parents are Mexican, but I'm not. I was born here. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna belittle people like that. I simply want to know why you guys think like this because it's, 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 it's ignorancia. That's being ignorant. That's being ignorant. Mex Mexicans are the only people who are like this. I see people I'm, right now. I'm talking to some Mormons, and I asked them, "Hey, wh where does your bloodline come from?" Right away, over British. Yeah, we're British. Our family it came here. And they know the date. They know where they landed. But they're British. But they were born here too. They're young kids. They're like 21. They were born here. They're like, well, we're British. Except Mexicanos. Mexicanos? Oh, I'm American. Oh, so you're a continent. What part of the continent do you belong to? The north, the middle, the south? Because everybody's American. It's only Mexicanos that are that for some reason do not want to accept who they really are. Now, if it's I've read a book about what, you know, the Tejanos, why they claim that. They're ashamed to become Mexicans because they feel like they're a defeated race. And I made a video about that, so I suggest you go back and check that out. I would respect Mexicanos who are really ashamed to be Mexican, to tell me, in my, to say it. You know, I'm ashamed. I don't want to be called that because I'm ashamed of this and I'm ashamed of that. I respect that. At the end of the day, we're all entitled to our opinions and we have to respect it. But when people say, oh, my parents Mexican, I'm not. If you really think about that, you never hear a Filipino say that. Philip, and I've met, and, and that's one thing I respect about the Filipino culture. A lot of Filipinos immigrate, they have families, their kids still grow up knowing they're Filipino, they still grow up in their culture, at least from my experience. I see it a lot. A lot of them have their, their the emblem tattooed on their hand, the, you know, the, the little circle with the, I don't know what it's called, but you know what I'm talking about, the emblem, the Filipino emblem. And they're Filipino. They're proud of it. They stick to their traditions. Except Mexicanos. Mexicanos want to be everything but Mexican. You want to fit in with everybody else but Mexican. And that's when Mexicans get a bad rep. Because we don't even embrace who we really are. You ask a Mexican, what does being Mexican mean? Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. And then you meet someone like me and people even admire that. They're like, damn, this guy knows exactly who he is. That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. Okay? But no, we have Mexicanos that... And I've heard it. I've been in restaurants and I hear people say, oh, my parents are Mexican, not me. Yet, el nopalote en la cara. Like, are you, are you, are you fucking kidding me? Like, it's coming to this point. Oh, I wasn't born there, so I'm not that. Like, are you guys, a piece of paper is going to determine your bloodline. Are we for real now? So, all I want with this concept is, if you're one of these people and this hits home, the shoe fits... Please drop a comment below and tell me why you feel like that. I want to understand where this concept comes from. Or this whole term with Mexican descent. I hear it more and more. You're, you don't descend from Mexicans. You are Mexican. You, the only way you descend from someone is if your whole clan is dead. And you're the only one left of your kind. I descend from that. But they don't exist anymore. Mexicans exist. If your family is still alive in Mexico, it is Mexicano. Okay? You're a mestizo. Or you're indigenous. You don't descend. You are that. Okay, being born in this country does not take that away from you. You stole that. You just have a piece of paper. If you're, both your parents are Mexicanos, you're Mexicano. Simple. Simple. You don't have to complicate your life. You can call yourself a Chicano or Chicano. Because the right, right name is not Chicano. It's Chicano. Chicana. Nicantlaca. Mexicano. Mexicana. You're the same thing. You, you can label yourself whatever you want. You're still the same thing. It's the same thing. So I would like to know where this concepts come from. I'm not attacking anybody. I just want to know where this comes from. Because I hear it more and more and more. And I feel like, like where does this come from? Because I don't feel like that. And I grew up extremely whitewashed. Extremely whitewashed. Especially because I'm Guarito. I grew up like that. It wasn't until not too long ago that I started reading on my culture. And I started reading a lot. So I want to know where this comes from. I want to understand why you guys feel the way that you do. Okay? Um, lastly, I got new tattoos. I got Quetzalcoatl, and I got, as most know it, the Aztec G-Shield, or La Guerra Florida. So I'm going to give you a little history on it. Everything in our culture, our, I'm going to call it La Cultura Anahuac, has two meanings. You have 
pre-Aztec and then you have Aztec. So Aztec, this is known as the Aztec G-Shield. Pre-Aztec, this is also known as La Guerra Florida. Now, I know most of you guys are going to watch this video and say, no, you're wrong. Where do you get your information from? This is simply what I've learned, and I'm just sharing it with you. All right? You see these steps? So the first initial steps is you climbing to where mastering yourself, which is el, 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 el Quetzal, which is the bird, which is, represents the spiritual, and el Coatl, which is a snake, represents the materialistic. You have, this is the journey. That you're climbing to mastering yourself. All right? So that's what initially what that is. Mastering of yourself. Once you master yourself, then you graduate and you're out of that. So it's, the, the example that they use is like a caterpillar. You have a caterpillar, then it goes into a cocoon. That cocoon represents the work that you're doing within yourself to master yourself. Once you master yourself, you become a butterfly. Butterfly and, 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 and uh, la educación tolteca means... That you have mastered yourself. You are, you, are, you are an enlightened being. That's what that represents. Okay. So I'll get more into that. I have all the notes. I believe I have them in my school bag. I have all the notes. I'm going to give it to you guys. I'm going to break everything down. So you guys know where I'm coming from. Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl is simple. It's just balance between the materialistic and the spiritual. It's the balance. That's what Quetzalcoatl means. I know there's different interpretations that he used to be a priest, that he got, they got him drunk and he left. He promised he was going to come back. There's a lot of different interpretations. But the simple, the simplest, the, the one thing I realize is that the simpler the, the, the meaning, the more truth it has to it. So the, the simple meaning behind Quetzalcoatl is balance. Balance between the, mater, the, the spiritual and the materialistic. That's all it is. All right? So, this is the new work I got done. And, you know, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, with that being said, just a little recap. Nationality for Mexicanos. I can understand it from an indigenous point of view. Mexico, in the sense, is a bloodline because it comes from the Mexica. For us, mestizos is the umbrella that signifies that we're, mi we're of mixed blood. And that's what that represents. Okay? I don't, I don't see it as a nationality. I see it as a bloodline. Although the name in itself comes from the Mexica, I don't, my, my family does not come from the Mexica tribe, but it's just to identify that we come from mixed blood. You can choose how you want to accept that name. I choose to take it as a bloodline. If you want to, if you want to go by your tribe, you go right ahead. Second, you just can't pick and choose what you want to be. You are what you are. I don't care if you dye your hair blonde, if you don't go out in the sun to stay light complex, you're going to be what you are regardless. It does not, it doesn't change anything. You are who you are. Okay? And lastly, my parents are Mexican. I'm not. Please drop a comment below. And, and if you even if you know people like this that claim that, please let me know why they think that. Because every, every other race doesn't believe that. From my personal, I'm speaking from personal experience. So please drop drop a comment below and share your story. I want to read it. I want to know why our gente, our gente highly think this. Oh, I'm not that. My parents are that. I'm not. I want to know why they think that. I want to know where you come from with that mentality. Are you ashamed to be Mexican? Did, why? Why? What ideas of being Mexican do you have? What is your uh, uh, your foundation of a Mexicano or a Mestizo or a, your whatever tribe you come from? What is your foundation based off? I want to understand because I don't understand. So with that being said, guys, I will be dropping more... Uh, Notes tomorrow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make time. So I'm gonna try to drop a video tomorrow with the notes. I have a lot of content I'm gonna drop. So take care and God bless.